Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. We are going to be reacting to Amira Willikagan singing in live concert Amazing Grace. This is a 2017 performance. I'm not sure when the last song that she sang that I reacted to was, but I do know that this will likely be equally as amazing. Now, I don't know how it's going to be because I got a bit of backlash from trying to react to her singing O Mio Papino Caro. So let's just jump into it because the hate ain't ever going to stop hating. Make sure you subscribe, click that notifications bell, and comment down below if you want more reactions like this, whether it's by Amira Willinghagen or someone else. And if you have been watching my content for a while and you have been questioning whether to do Patreon, why not? It's just $5 a month with perks such as 24-7 questions answered, like you can contact me directly, and that's where I'd probably be answering questions, like immediately. And then there's also exclusive content that you will not be able to find anywhere else. And then there's also going to be things like obviously listing out all my patrons on a list behind me, in particular at the end of the video. So if you want something like that, make sure to join my Patreon page. Trust me when I say these are things that I wish people would do for me if they were going to make a Patreon for their followers. Let's start now. <laughs> also, I have not warmed up, but that doesn't mean I can't project when I need to. Scottish clan. Clan. I'm guessing this is an intro. And of course there she is in her beautiful dress. hear someone being that classical up top in pop as much as you do with someone like her. It's quite astounding to listen to. Not saved a wretch like mine. Instead of saying, Me. it's just, it's just not enough space and it's too pingy. If you're gonna be pingy, make sure it's gonna be spread out in your mouth, not just focus in on the vowel. This is kind of genius because you get confused as to why there's Scottish men with bagpipes in the middle of something like this. But then you also realize that it's going to be because she wants to get your attention for when she starts singing before she actually starts singing. That's one of the most important parts I found when it comes to performances. You gotta make sure people have your attention. I cannot. I cannot. It's so beautiful at that top one. And grace, my faith. 
I don't know the words, but at least have this verse. Oh, to sound pretty and operatic at the same time. It's so hard to do because sometimes people will just be like, and not really focus in on what makes it sound beautiful in the first place. But she does. Just because she's an opera singer, I don't think it's professionally though. She's almost always using microphones. Doesn't mean she doesn't sound as innocent as Christine from Men in the Opera. That it's going to be a moment where she takes time to riff and run but that was just insane. insane I'm not saying she can't get up there for crying out loud she demonstrated in a video one of you guys suggested to me to watch the exact same thing that Queen of the Night did in that aria I think it's from the opera Magic Flute but wow the fact that she went up to the high E flat effortlessly eh, yeah it's just the marker of a true soprano I guess why am I saying I guess? <laughs> yeah, it's especially amazing if she can sound super good and not warmed up like I was. <laughs> it was a struggle, but not too much a struggle. She looks older too. Grace will lead me oh, oh, I mean, I don't know what else to say on this. She's just absolutely gorgeous, but also absolutely gorgeous of a singer, especially when she was self-taught through the whole thing. I heard that she surprised her parents, and that's when they really tried to, like, make it something other than something to her, if that makes sense. That also means that her career started rather early, I'm guessing. 
Sorry, my brain is just having a hard time waking up. It's like really clear, and that's sometimes a problem with these types of things. But I'm just going to say that imitation is one of the best things a singer can do, or at least lean upon if they can do it well. Am I saying that they can use that only? I'm not saying that at all. I'm only saying that imitation is one of the most common uses of learning among the most talented of singers like herself. She looks really, she really looks like she's older than she was in the other video. Like her hair is put up and looks rather adult-like. But yeah, I think that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos of reactions to singers, make sure to subscribe, click the notifications bell. That's not excluding singers, but if you have any pianists you want me to react to, make sure to suggest some of that as well, because I need to get some of that for inspiration to keep playing piano, if that makes sense. Comment down below who else you might want me to react to. Put any suggestions regardless in the comments below. And join my Patreon page, which like I said, has exclusive content, free downloadables of all my original songs, and being able to answer all of your questions any time of the day, 24-7. Those at the very least for the tiers on my Patreon page. But yeah, I hope to see you next time. Until then, bye!